What's going on guys, it's your boy J-Ho bringing you a brand new video and today Game Informer released another new article giving us more gameplay on the new Tex Mechanica shotgun that many believe is one of the Taken King's newest exotic weapons. So here's the gameplay of the new Tex Mechanica shotgun. We have no details on the gun yet such as whether or not it is an exotic or some of the perks and base stats on the weapon but what you can tell from this clip is that it holds five in the magazine and the range on it isn't the greatest but again we do have to consider the patch coming out right before the Taking King drops so along with this new gameplay the main topic of today's article was to introduce the eight new crucible maps coming in the Taken King so let's get straight into it. The first map that they introduce is called Bannerfall. It is located on the last city on Earth and it's similar to the tower. It has the look of the tower. So the description of it is Bannerfall is a good mid-sized map well suited to matches of control and its symmetry works well for rift matches. It has a large open courtyard that evokes the memory of the actual guardian tower that we go to and it also has an angled back alley that offers a sneaky path to victory as well so pretty cool it's a tower looking map we haven't seen anything like this in the game we've seen a lot of footage of this map in trailers as well and it looks like a pretty good addition next up is frontier and it is located on the city perimeter of earth it is a semi-symmetric map built around a train yard. It has a train track that cuts through the middle of the map and runs across a bridge which is the central landmark for the map and a bottleneck for all the combat in the map. Um, pretty good for game types like Rift as well. And also it is connected to one of the original maps from Vanilla Destiny Twilight Gap. So that's pretty cool as well. Next up is Crossroads and it is located on the lost oasis of Mars. This map features Vex structures including teleporters and it's pretty cool addition to Crucible map since we haven't seen anything like this until the Taken King. This map is a really good showcase for mayhem matches since it allows players to launch themselves into the air and teleport away while their special attacks quickly recharge. So a pretty cool addition with the teleporters and interesting to add into gameplay. Next up we have Sector 618 which is located on the Cosmodrome wall of Old Russia. So another Earth map. And this map is the PlayStation 4 exclusive map, so Xbox players do not get this map until 2016, I believe. And this map is set inside the Cosmodrome wall, so it should feel familiar to anyone who recalls Destiny's early story mission that has players facing off against an advancing tide of Fallen slipping through the darkness. So I believe... This is similar to the location of where you first played some of those original story missions when you first created your character or your guardian and it has that kind of feel to it where you're indoors trying to fight your way out into the Cosmodrome area. So pretty cool addition. As an Xbox player I am a little bit bummed that I can't experience this map right off the bat but I can't wait to experience it once it does become available to Xbox. Next up is Ghost Ship and it is located on Foundling's Gyre of the Reef. This is the first Crucible map set in the Reef and it is actually a fallen ship that fell after a hive attack. So Ghost Ship is the smallest map of the 8 Crucible maps coming out in the Taken King and it features a symmetric layout however one side of the ship has been torn open by a hive attack and various debris floats through one side of the ship which helps give players a sense of where they are. Pretty cool addition now that we got a reef map to play on in Crucible. Next up we have Exile which is located on a Hive fleet ship that orbits Saturn. Pretty cool our first Dreadnought base map and it is a bit longer and narrower than most Crucible maps we've seen in the past. It is strong for both control and clash mode. Uh, the lower level adds a vertical element to combat while a complicated maze of corridors leads to some violent conflicts as you take corners. Really cool map. I like the design of the Dreadnought and being able to play Crucible matches on it adds another level to the map and the aesthetic of the location itself. So I can't wait to play on this map as well. 
Next up we have Memento and this map is located in the European dead zone of Earth. It is very similar to the Widow's Court map that was featured in the House of Wolves expansion. This map features an overgrown street tucked in between two larger buildings all set within a roughly triangular shape. It is another good control slash clash map but its moderate size also means that it plays well for smaller team game modes. And finally we have Vertigo which is located in Calorous Basin of Mercury. So this map also features Vex structures and it is the next map located on Mercury after Burning Shrine. I'm really excited to play on this map because I really love Burning Shrine. It is one of my favorite maps and I also love the location of Mercury in general. I love the lighthouse. I love the look of all the Mercury locations that we've seen so far in the game and I can't wait to try this map out as well. So those were the 8 Crucible maps featured in today's Game Informer article. I'll leave a link in the description below if you guys want to check it out for yourselves. And that's about it for this video. Thank you guys for watching as always. Let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think of all these new maps. And which one is your favorite map so far. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace!